you know that is to be able not to do nothing for yourself i remember when i had now gotten the stroke your mind telling you to get up and your body telling you no your body can't five years ago a stroke robbed 64 year old hillary benjamin of her independence leaving her a shell of who she once was now confined to her humble apartment along Gloucester Lodge Road in Belmont. I used to do everything. I used to cook everything for myself. I used to, be, I used to take part. I used to be helping. I will do anything. When I go to work and I come home, I will find something to do because I never liked to, to be all wrong doing any, doing nothing. Benjamin often reminisces on her past. Once employed by the Health Ministry and its Insect Vector Control Division, the stroke rendered her medically unfit in 2019. I accustomed being on my doing things for myself. I felt so hope helpless. Many days I used to cry. I couldn't walk, I couldn't even feed myself. I couldn't even brush my teeth. Despite the hardships, however, Benjamin's determined spirit keeps her hoping for the best. Wheelchair bound since the stroke, she dreams of walking once more. The doctors had given up on me. I was supposed, the doctor had told my children, if I live, I would not be no use to myself, I'll be a vegetable. But due to God's grace and mercies, I am alive today. To continue, because I am very persistent, I, not, I am not giving up. But determination can only go so far. Benjamin now depends on a caretaker to move about her home and have some comfort but her dwindling funds proved to be an obstacle. I am going Stroke and Wellness Center in Seven Days Adventist Hospital, $300 a session, which is one hour. And because of how my improvement, my therapist would like me to come to, uh, twice a week. And because of finance, I had to stop many times. To keep improving, she requires more therapy than she can afford. With her meager NIS check, she works miracles to get everything done from paying for a full-time caretaker, medication, pampers, to hiring a driver to take her to a therapy session when she can afford it. I have $3,000 to do everything, to pay rent, to pay nurses, and to pay all my bills. The driver does come and pick me up, and every time he comes, it's one fifty, which is reasonable, because he drops me and he waits me, and he comes and he lifts me up and he takes me down the stairs. Over the years, Friends and well-wishers help pay for therapy sessions. However, there are times when they're unable to pitch in. Benjamin hopes to afford the extra therapy session she desperately needs to improve her chances of walking again. Anyone wishing to assist Hillary and her medical expenses can contact her at 769-5163. Ambika Datu, CNC3.